Hello everyone, I'm Karina Chen with KarinasCreations.com and I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, every Tuesday at 1 o'clock I go on and share a few things that are going on with Stampin' Up! and hopefully stamp some fun cards from you. So, uh, thank you again for joining me. And whenever you like or share my video, I like to do a draw just to thank people for... Uh, supporting my business and then I put everybody's names in a draw and then I draw the names now I don't do it well I always do it after the Tuesday uh, Tuesday video and so I'll just show you who won from last Tuesday oh I see Connie's here hello Connie thank you for joining me and I know people will slowly pop on but I will tell you that the very first name I drew from last Tuesday was Nancy. So Nancy Holkoff, you have won some gold glitter enamel dots. And I usually draw flat prizes because I have to mail it. And I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and mailing stuff is very expensive. Very expensive. Sometimes it's even more than the prize. And then on Friday, I posted a video as well. Um, I've been doing some extra ones, and then I drew Joy's name. So Joy Lip, you won some ribbon. This is one of my favorite ribbons. I used it all the time. So I will be mailing those prizes out to you. Hello, Carolyn. I'm happy you can join me today. So I have Connie and Carolyn here so far. Fantastic. I have lots to actually share today. But first of all, let me talk about the most important thing. There is only one left week or one one week left of the annual catalog and then it will be gone forever. Oh, I see Joy's here. I have to back up now. Joy, look, I drew your name for a prize. You're getting some ribbon in the mail. And Kim's here. Hello, Kim. You're watching from Texas. Wow. I am just honored that you are joining me. It's probably a heck of a lot warmer where you are than where we are. It rained this morning. I started going outside to uh, have breakfast, and then it was so cold I had to come in. And hello, Sharon. Thank you for watching as well. So, yeah, the weather has not been... One day it's amazing, the next day it's rainy and cold. Okay, what was I saying about, yes, the retired list? You want to make sure that you order the stuff you need on the retiring list as soon as you can because it's while supplies last. And it's only good until June 2nd, which is, I believe, well, it's next week already. Oh my gosh, where did June go? And last night I actually shared some of the, some things I thought were retiring. And... I shared this little cat punch. You know what, guys? This is not retiring. That was an oopsie. But you know what is retiring? The stamp set that goes with it. And then same with the dog punch. So these are going to be in the catalog still. But they're taking away. I shouldn't say they're taking away. Stampin' Up! is retiring these two stamp sets. So if you guys don't own these and you want to get the dog or the cat punch, make sure you pick these up. I'm not 100% sure if they're still available. I sure hope so. And then this was the card I made last night. So you can just go find that video if you want and watch um, watch how I talk a little bit about it because I showed a few bundles that are going to be in my sale on the 5th. Um, once a year, I have a huge sale that I call my catalog kickoff party slash buy one, get one free sale. This year, I can't have people over to my house. However, I'm going to be doing um, a Zoom party from 7 to 9 o'clock on June the 5th, which is Friday. And I will share my bundles and whoever puts up their hand first will get the bundles or whatever they want. And then after that night, I'm going to open it up and put it all on Facebook, all on albums so that anybody can participate. And I see Betty's here. Hello, Betty. And Amy's here. Hello, Amy. And Betty, I just mailed your pedal to the metal kit yesterday. So hopefully you'll have it by next Tuesday. And I should tell you, I'll just kind of show you, this is what I'm working with. Oh my gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. I'm not going to go through it all. Look at this big box though. Can you guys see this? I can't even get under my, look at this. These are just some of the stamps. I think I've got 30 stamps just in this box alone. I've got five more boxes in the garage. That's not even all my bundles. So my sale is huge. 
It's a lot of work to do with lots of fun. And then I'm also going to do product demonstrations on Friday at 1 o'clock and 3 p.m. next Friday, not this Friday. And then I will have make and takes for whoever buys something from my sale. We'll get the make and takes in the mail and I'm going to demo those on the Saturday. So it's going to be a huge party. So save the date. Tell your friends to join in. Okay, so they're back to the retiring list because I have a few other things to share. If you place an order or you need to order, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net. You can put in the May hostess code if you like. If you're ordering more than $200, don't use a hostess code because you get to be your own hostess. And I'll just go over some of the things. When you go into that website, though, you can actually go through and see what are the best deals. So I made a little list just to show you guys some of the stuff because there's some great deals right now. I am so tempted to place another order. The first one is Mossy Meadow and Soft Suede Stampin' Spots. Look, you get two of these for $3.30. These are really fantastic when you use your Stamparatus. I'll probably have to do another video just to demonstrate that. And they're very good colors. So Mossy Meadow, Soft Suede, it's actually the card I'm going to show you how to make today, but I'm doing a stepped up one. So keep watching. Uh, the next thing are the pearlized doilies, which go on any project. $3.60. What else do we have? Dino Roar Shapes. I couldn't find them. They're somewhere in my disaster of an office. $3.80. Frosted Flowers look like this. Those are $3.80. They used to be $9. I had them marked at $9 at one time. Uh, garage Elements. Look how cute these are. You get little keys, little wrenches, and little screwdrivers. These, ones, these are also on sale for $3.80. The Glimmer Papers are going. So Rolls Glimmer Paper is on sale for $4.05. I believe it's $6.75 normally. Uh, the stamp cleaning pad. Do you guys own this? Who owns this? Oh, I see Kathy's here. Sean is here. Sandra's here. Oh, you guys, I love it when you stamp with me. I just got a bit distracted by this. I am so tempted to buy another one. And a lot of people don't even know what it is. It's $4.10 right now. And what it does is it cleans that terrible red ink off of your clear acrylic stamps because watch what happens let me just show you so if I take this nice little dog house and stamp it with a red colored or purple purple colored ink let's do the Mary Merlot just to give you an idea we'll stamp a dog house how about right here guys right there I think so See, now look at my stamp. And normally I just use my Simply Chamois. I cut mine into four pieces. Well, this is really gonna make a mess. I need more water on my Simply Chamois. But can you see, it's pink, so pink, and it's gonna stay pink. But watch what happens if you do this right away. If you put it on the stamp cleaning pad, and you go da 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 da, you have to sing, make a little music you know, happy little stamp cleaning sound. And then you go to clean it. It takes most of the red off, not 100%, but it cleans it really, really well. So this is uh, what I would recommend. Everybody pick up one of these for their acrylic stamps because if it gets too dark, it's hard to see through and hard to line up. And for $4, this is a steal. You can buy an ink refill. I don't know if it's still available though. But this is my tip of the day. Grab one of these. And I'm going to place an order tomorrow morning by 9 in the morning. And uh, so you can just tag it on. If you just have a couple items, email me and I'll tag it on to my order and you can just come pick it up. Okay, the other great deal, I think, are the Leaves Trinkets. Do I have any of those left? Oh, I did somewhere. I don't know where they went. Leaves Trinkets. Uh, nope, they're missing, but they're super cute. Uh, cork embellishments. Look at these. Aren't these cute? Cork embellishments are $4.40, and I actually put it on my purse project. All right, you can stamp on it with some white craft ink. And then the matching ribbon that goes with this, um, the Magnolia 
combo ribbon that's also on sale for seven dollars and 35 cents what else do we have sahara sand trim this is super cheap this is for ribbon four dollars and 40 cents and what you do is you just place it underneath you know a little piece of cardstock and then these little guys just kind of dangle there you just glue them down so that's super cheap metallic brads four dollars and fifty cents i don't even think i use my metallic brads this year i like them for hinge cards or when i have to you know attach two pieces of paper because we don't have brads very often and they're going so that's not very good so keep buy a package of those floral essence centers okay you want 20 packages of these you're probably going 20 okay i'm not kidding oh do you need a stamp and mist do you need stamp and mist to refill no uh tracy's probably asking me about this it has its own refill um i think i just bought a refill recently for my pad it's called stamp cleaning pad refill and I don't know if it's still available or if you have to buy a new pad. But it's a special solution, so don't go filling this with Stampin' Up Mist because it's not the same thing. Okay, sorry, back to my little fuzzy centers. So these I put on all those beautiful daisy flowers. And they were quite expensive at one time. But I really like it because you just peel and stick them into the center of your daisy. And they are $4.95. So I brought two, another two in just for myself. Uh, copper trim, I don't have it here, but it's on sale. Pink rhinestones, $4.95. In color ribbon is $4.95. So these are the retiring in colored ribbons. So blueberry bushel, lovely lipstick, grapefruit grove, call me clover. They're all on sale right now, about half price. Hi, Cindy. I see you're here too. And Leona's here. Hello. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love it when you come and visit me. Okay, what else was I mentioning? That's a super good deal. Country Club Elements. Okay, that is a misprint typo thingamajigger there. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you how to make a super easy decorated bag for Father's Day when you have like two seconds. Because it never fails. I have great intentions for getting ahead of things and then I need a bag or a card at the very last second so i'm going to show you a fast one right away and i'll just open these up because i'm going to use them today because why am i hoarding them they are only five dollars and 36 cents but they're super cute okay this is not the way to open this but look it's got little embellishments that you can stamp on it's got little golf clubs little golf tees little elements super cute okay back to in color faceted dots uh, i probably have them did i show you guys how i store everything because then they don't get all junked up and this is literally what i do when i'm designing i just flip through oh here they are these are them they're on sale as well right now and they work on the in colors that we still have that are rolling over for another year and what else did I have? Woven Threads Designer Series Paper, $6.30. That is super cheap. Follow Your Art Paper, $6.30. You can go online to my stamping store at karinachin.stampinup.net and search for these items, and then you'll see an actual picture. We have Sail Away Trinkets, $6.60. I think I gave mine away for a door prize. I think. I think, Carolyn, I think you won those. Um, Magnolia Lane Ribbon. That's this is one. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You get this nice um, mossy meadow baker's twine. And then it comes with a thicker ribbon. It's a two pack of ribbon. Which is somewhere. Gold foil cards and envelopes. I talked about this the other day. These are a steal of a deal. And perfect if you want to start working on Christmas cards. Because the bases come cut and scored. And you get coordinating envelopes. And uh, for $8.10, that's cheaper than just a package of white envelopes right now. And they make really cute cards. And then the scalloped circle and the one eighth of an inch scallop circle punch and the one and three eighths of an inch circle punch. 
I think I brought them out just to show you. These were only $8.80 because they are taking away the circle punches except for three in the new catalog. So we're only going to have, oh, where's my new catalog? I can't show you this yet. If you haven't got your new catalog, give me a call because you can come pick one up. I got brought a whole bunch in. Okay, for circle punches, we're only going to have a two inch circle punch, a two and a quarter inch circle punch, and a one and a half inch circle punch. That's it. So I would pick up the three quarter of an inch or the one inch circle punch along with these ones. Because um, circles, you can't cut circles. Yeah, we do have dies, but you still need circle punches. It's just faster. And I think that's all I put down to share with you guys for retired items for now. Uh, I know that is a lot, but that's not even, I just got tired of typing up the list. There's just too many items that are on sale right now. Okay, I have to move this to the side. I do have one other thing to share though. This is not on sale, but look how cute this is. I'll post a picture of my decorated one. These ones are $8.75, I believe. This was part of my celebration celebration party that I had for people who spent um, $180 with me during celebration. We did decorated journals and we had a special card class, but look how cute these are. Wouldn't this make a nice gift for a girlfriend? And I'll post a picture because we actually decorated the front, put name on it, put ribbon, and we put some of those little bird ballad trinkets, which are also on sale. So if you're looking for a gift idea, there is that. Okay, so that just covers some of the stuff, some of the deals that you can get in on for the last week. Hopefully the items I showed you are still available. And then I had one other thing to share quick. So I, most of you, well, I shouldn't say that. A lot of you are demonstrators right now. If you are not a demonstrator and you want to get the starter kit, my recommendation is wait till June the 3rd. We just found out that there's a starter kit special starting. So your starter kit, you would still pay $135 for it and you get $165 in product, no shipping, no GST, but Stampin' Up! is giving you a free bundle of your choice. So that means a stamp set and a die. You can get a stamp set and a punch. And there's a huge number of items to choose from. So, and that starts June the 3rd. So I just thought I'd mention that. And if you already have a demo number, on June the 20th, I am running an event with two other demonstrators in Edmonton. The cost is $30. It's a Saturday afternoon for two hours. From one to three, you get a Field of Flowers stamp set which is here, included in your $30 cost. And then we're gonna have three virtual make and takes and three product demonstrations. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a closed group right now, but just leaving a message that you wanna participate or you're interested and I'll get you into the group. And it closes, registration closes June the 2nd because we need to expedite these. Stamp set, so if you're interested in that, and if you're a customer, you're welcome to come to us, not just demos, but it's going to be a virtual event. They are lots of fun, so let me know about that. And I think that was all I had to mention. Yeah, I talked about June the 5th. I talked about the starter kit special. Oh, that's a lot of talking. Oh, Carolyn says she bought the one-inch circle punch. Yeah, I know, Carolyn. I'm thinking that I might need to get backup punches I don't know why, but I use my one inch circle punch all the time. Okay, let's start stamping now, you guys, because I'm sure that's why you're here to watch me is to stamp. So this is one of the bundles that is retiring. Yes, it will be in my sale. I think I'm charging $50 for the two of them. And whenever you buy a retired item, so how it works, this is priced at $50 for the two pieces. So then you would get to choose, you would get this basically for free. You just take it with you, which is a thank you for shopping with me. And then you order $50 of new product from the new catalog. And then you pay the shipping and GST for you, or you pay the shipping and GST on top of that. And then this is your free gift. So I basically give all my stuff away during my buy one, get one free sale, which is why I have so many people coming. It's such a great deal, but my customers and friends are so amazing. I like to give them good deals. So that's the way I've been running it for quite a few years. And 
next I think we're ready to start stamping. So the reason why I'm focusing on this bundle, first of all, it's retiring, but I wanted to talk about beginner stampers and how they can do a super cute card. And then I'll show you the stepped up version. So what I did was use the beautiful promenade. I just cut a five and a half inch by eight and a half inch card base. And then I cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is two and a half by three and a half. And then I stamped on it using three colors of ink. Because when you're a beginner stamper, all you need is stamps, ink, and paper. They call it SIP, stamps, ink, and paper. So this is Rococo Rose, Mossy Meadow, and Mary Merlot ink. And look how cute that card turned out. So I just did the stamping, added a few rhinestones, and there's my super cute beginner card. And then I thought, well, most of my customers are advanced stampers. What can I do for them to make this card super cute as well? So if you have more supplies or you have a, a die cutting machine, this is the card you can make. Are you impressed? Love it? Okay, you're probably thinking that doesn't look good at all. Oh, I see Bilkis is here. Hello, Bilkis. And you're right. No, this is not amazing yet, but just wait, just wait. Look what happens when I add the die cut piece on here. I already did this for you. Um, let's get this on. I think I showed you guys this before, but whenever you have these intricate die cutting pieces, I highly recommend that you buy a silicone mat. And then what we're going to do is put a glob of glue and a sponge. This is my glue sponge. I just put it on a library clip. And then we'll turn this over. And we're just going to put this on the edges like so. And then because there is a quite a large center area, I'm just going to go like that. Okay, and then let's move this out of the way because now it's a big gluey mess. And I think I'm gonna tuck this off to the side over here, this medallion. But see, it just helps these little bits stick without glue spreading all over the place and causing a gluey stamping disaster. Now what's the next thing I'm going to do? I've already pre-stamped and cut these. Can you see how this image is off a little bit? That's because I was lazy last night and didn't use my Stamparatus. If I lined this up on my Stamparatus, it would have been perfect. But I still think it's pretty cute and I'm okay with that. And I've also went and stamped and die cut these little leaf pieces. They're in Mary Merlot. This is Old Olive. And this is Rococo Rose color. And I think what I'm gonna do is glue these um, on the back of my flowers. Now the snail, Stampin' Up Snail is retired. However, don't worry, we're gonna get new stuff coming out in the new catalog. So I think it'll be fine. I just need something to attach this with. I'm just gonna build my flowers right now. We're gonna put one here. And we'll put one over here. And then I think, do I need to pop that? Yeah, I think I need to pop that. I haven't even showed you my Father's Day project yet. I had so much fun stamping last night. Although my daughter came into my stamp room and she said, Mom, it's almost midnight. Why are you still stamping? And sometimes I'm like that. When I just get a creative idea, I just keep stamping. Okay, see how that's lifting up a bit? Let's get my little glue, glue sponge in here again. And I've been working on new stuff for my catalog kickoff party. So I'm excited about that. Playing with some new product. It's just so fun. And that's why if you don't have a demo number, you may want one. Just saying. Okay. I think we're going to put one here. And then we're going to put one here. And we'll put one down here, one of these leaves. And then I need a second layer. Ooh, come back here, we need you. Okay. And then I think we're gonna put one of these on here, like so. 
and then we'll put one leaf down here. What do you think? Does that look cute, guys? And then I'm going to just set that like so. If I don't want it to fall apart, I could put a piece of tear and tape adhesive on this. But I think these little guys are pretty secure. These little leaves that I cut. Okay. I like that. Okay, isn't that pretty? Now, I have already pre-stamped hello. So we're just going to tuck that in here. And the hello comes from the... Timeless Tulip Stamp Set and Punch, which is rolling over into the catalog. And I'm just going to tuck that here. And I did hello because I don't know who this card is for yet. Oh, I know what I forgot. Hold on. This is also retiring. Rose Metallic Thread. And I wanted to add some on here just to step it up. So... The nice thing is, is that when you do things with Stampin' Dimensionals, you can always move them. So I'm just going to take a little bit of thread. They're getting rid of all our thread. There is silver. I'm not sure. I think silver has gone. I think there's just metallic gold, rose gold right now. But I do like my Stampin' thread as well. Okay, let's just put this on here. And I usually attach it to my Dimensionals on the back. See, it just adds a little bit of interest. And then I'll put two more dimensionals. This is actually better when you use the big Stampin' Dimensionals, which are probably on my table somewhere. Don't know where they are, but they're around somewhere. Okay, now I will put this back on here. Isn't that pretty? It just gives it another layer. And then I also... I'm going to add some washi tape. So this whole product suite comes from, it's in the catalog. This is a Press Petal Specialty Designer Series paper. Look how beautiful these patterns are. I've used most of this up. I've been using a lot of paper. I think it's $20. I don't think it's on sale right now. And what is this called? This is pressed petals, metallic thread. I didn't say what this washi tape was. But I think I want to add some washi tape. I think we'll put it right under here. I probably should have done this before, but I want to tuck it. Again, it's kind of nice when it's dimensionals because you can pull it apart. And normally I pre-plan a little bit better than this, but you know, doing this at midnight, I didn't really want to have my sample done. I had it in my head. There, what do you think of that? Isn't that cute? And then, because, so I used rhinestones on this card. So we'll just add a few rhinestones because rhinestones just make everything a little bit better. Okay, let's get rid of this washi tape. And I think the washi tape's on sale too. Let's put one of these here. Uh, hopefully I've got some stick on this. Stick, stick. And we'll get another rhinestone and we'll just pop it. I think it can go right there. Okay, I think my card is finished. Then I'll show you my Father's Day project. So let's get this out of the way. Do a 10 second tidy. And again, so this stamp set and the dies will be in my sale on June the 5th. I should mention that this one is really great because it has an envelope liner. So I can actually go and make an envelope liner with my envelope if I want, but I want to show you guys the next project. So what do you think of this one? So this is the basic beginner card. This is the more advanced stepped up card, but super cute, you know, and nice and happy. And I like the colors. Okay. I will set that aside. Let's see. Thank you, Bill. Or thank you, Carolyn. She loves a color combination. And Bilka says I do that too when I go to my craft room. I forget to eat and sleep. I know. I thought it was funny when I didn't realize it was almost midnight last night. Okay, now this is a very important bundle I have to share with you. This is retiring. Now you might go, ah, Karina, I don't golf. What's a big deal? I think it's a big deal because we haven't had a golf stamp set for a very long time and I don't think we're gonna get one again. And I was shocked to find out it's rolling over. The images are easy to use. 
I like the sentiments, you know, you're the greatest guy by par. Pretty easy to work with. It's got happy Father's Day and happy birthday. And I'm just looking to see where I put my samples. My station got a little messy. Oh, here, I tucked them over here. No, yeah, I did. Let me just show you the samples that I made with these. That one. It's got coordinating country club twine that comes, that coordinates with it. And we just twisted it and put it on here. You're the greatest guy by par. This is a card we made at my last, my Monday night fancy fold class. And then this is one that I got as a swap where we just, where the person colored the golfer. So super simple, but still cute. A little bit of an easy fancy fold. So it just shows the versatility of this set. But I think the best part is the designer series paper. So again, it's retiring because look at this. There's your lady golfer. So if you have a girlfriend who likes to stamp or a sister or a cousin or your mom, you can just cut this out and color it with some stamp and blends and make a really cute card. And then look at the other side. So it's really nice argyle and plaids. You can even cut these out if you don't have a big shot um, and you are a newer stamper. You can just cut these out and add these embellishments to your card. So I think it's very versatile. I was shocked it's not rolling over. Shocked, shocked, shocked. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to do with this. So I mentioned before that sometimes I don't always plan my gifts very well. And I realize it's Father's Day and I got to come up with a two second card or something. So this is my suggestion. Grab a lunch bag, cut it down. I had to cut the top off a little bit. I wanted it to be about 12 inches. I've cut my designer series paper so that it's going to fit on this flap like so. And I'm going to go like this. And then I'll show you what I'm putting in there. I haven't really got my Father's Day gift bought yet, but my dad likes cards and he always needs socks. So I figure that'll be a good start. Okay, so that's the front, super easy. And then on the back, all I did was measure it, fold this over, like, isn't this easy? Okay, maybe this isn't so cute. Maybe this is not the cutest project I ever made. But like I said, this is to show you that if you have five minutes and you forgot to get your gift packaging ready, you can still make a super cute project. Okay, now I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna turn it this way. Because I roughly measured. There we go. Oops, we don't need Karina's creation sticker in there. He knows where to find me. Okay, what do you think? Now, it's not quite done yet because I thought we need to jazz it up a little bit. The other thing I was going to do is, well, this is, while I'm decorating this, I'm going to get this going. Did you know that this makes enclosures? So I'm just going to get this started. You make a glob of glue like this. And then you close it and then you lift it up and then it will make a little sticky dot. So I'm going to do the inside later, but I really want to show you how to finish off this card. Like I said, I would consider this to be a beginner ish project. And all I did was pre stamp happy father's day. Wherever the stamp set went. Let me see, let me see. I said it somewhere. But anyway, you saw it earlier. And then I'm just going to add my liquid glue. Now, if you don't have this liquid glue, you could just, you know, buy a Velcro dot from the dollar store. That would work too. Okay, it says Happy Father's Day. I've already die cut one of these pieces. This is from the coordinating die. 
I'm just going to put this on this way. Again, we can use my sticky sponge, but I think for the purposes of this video, we'll just quickly do little dabs of glue just to put it on here. And I'm just sort of overlaying it. It doesn't, it's not going to fit perfectly. I just want to give it some dimension. And then I thought we would do a little rope. So let's get these three colors. You can braid them if you want to. I don't think I'm going to do that. I am not going to do that. So I'm just going to put my three pieces of Baker's Twine together and tie a little knot. And then, oh, I'm going to have to close this, but that's okay. And I'm just going to attach it with a glue dot and I want it to go all the way across. So let's just twist, twist. Let's make sure I get it long enough. Okay, and then I think what I'll do is get a pair of scissors. I'm going to tie a little knot. Make this tight. And if it comes apart, I'm okay with that. My dad's not going to care. He's just happy when I make him a coffee. And he actually lives in Leduc, so he's pretty close. Okay, and then that's going to go across here. Now, I think the best way to put this down will be a glue dot. I could be mistaken, but I think I'm going to just pop this up so it doesn't totally dry shut. Okay, and you're probably thinking, I don't know how this is going to look. But trust me, it'll be cute. Okay, and then I'll put a glue dot on the other side. Let's put this, what do you think, right about here? And then we're just going to shrink this up. There we go. And then I'm going to use dimensionals and put this across like this. You could add ribbon, you could make it even fancier, but like I said, it's a guy's card, so I don't get too worked up about that. I just want it to look pretty-ish, you know. It'll still look really cute. And then this will be my super fast bag. Made out of a lunch kit. Because I don't really want to go to the dollar store unless I have to. Right now, does anyone know, do you have to wear a mask if you go into the dollar store right now? Or is it safer? Okay, and see how this is starting to, it's starting to form an enclosure. So I think I'm ready now. Isn't that cute? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I also went and stamped and I die cut out the golf ball. So let's just add this on the bottom. And then of course I would make a coordinating card, but I didn't get that done. So you'll just have to buy the set and make your own and then make sure you share with me. And then look at all these fun little die cut elements. You know what? I think we need to add one of these on here. Should we put it up here? Maybe we'll just put it up there. I need a glue dot. I don't, it's amazing how I get so messy. Is anybody else a messy creator? Okay, and then we're just going to put that there. So I think my bag is done, except I can put my Coca-Cola cards in here. See, it's starting to form my enclosure. I'll just tuck it over here and then I will put in my socks and all my other gifts. But this is my decorated bag. See how big that is? I can actually fill lots of stuff in here. I usually give them a jar of jam, so I think my jar of jam will go in here as well. And that's basically it. Connie says she would wear a mask to the dollar store and probably gloves too. Okay, I am not going to do that, so I'm just going to stay at home and make my own bags. So, like I said, unless I needed something desperately. So like I said before, I have the annual catalogs in. If you haven't got your annual catalog yet, come and see me or call me and I'll drop one off to you. I do have to make some deliveries. If you haven't got the Clubhouse stamp set bundle, uh, that's something you may want to pick up and keep in your stamp collection. 
You can place orders through KarinaChen.stampinup.net. These are well supplies last, so who knows how long it'll be available. And then what was my other bundle? I was going to tell you the other cards. Here were the other cards that I need as well. And there's just so many great things right now. And then on June the 3rd, the new catalog starts. And this is my tip of the day. If you are wanting the new in colors, you have to place your ink, you have to order your ink refills the day of June the 3rd. Because Stampin' Up! has announced that they're going to be short on ink refills for the new colors, and it's only one set per customer. So I can't go in and order 10 sets for everybody. I can only order one. So everybody's got to order their ink refills on their own. And then hopefully in a few months, it'll become normal again and it won't be such an issue but I know I want my ink refills so I'm going in on June the 3rd at noon to order them and then on June the 5th I have my huge sale so you can get a whole bunch of free stuff I'll help you with your orders and the other event I was running was my demo event um, on June 2nd is the sign up date last call for that will be June the 2nd and that's on June the 20th and finally I'm going to have a perfect p &E class um, in June, and I'll be emailing, emailing everybody the details of that. And I think that's all I had to share today. So thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you liked or shared my video uh, today and comment, and then I'll put your name in for a draw to win a prize next week. So thank you so much for watching me today, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.